Everybody, let's do it to it. It's short round. Come on, let's get it on. Here we go. J. Hodge, Matt Scoggin, gonna be the team to rope for us. 19th callback. Oh man, he says Wahoo now and got it on him to the backside. Oh, we're gonna catch him. Nope, not gonna work out, and it's gonna be no time. It's time to lock and load, and here we go. It's the top 18, Forrest Wheeler and Steel Montague, open with a 49 and 10. So here we go. Here's a little taste of what's to come. Forrest Wheeler, Steel Montague. Yeah, that's some kind of bad. They're gonna be smooth here. That's like Michael Jackson bad. They're six and 65. They are 55, 75. All right, it's going to be Randall Egemeyer, Chad Williams. They want it. They're going to be a 902. 902 to take over the lead of the open. Oh, man, it does not fit, and it's going to be no time. Let's load them up now for the 16th combat. It's Daniel Braddock and James Watson. They come to the short round here with a 43-44. All right, boys, here we go. It's time to bring the eight in. Oh, they're pushing it. Daniel Braddock, they're pushing it. They're going to be no time. Well, that's going to bring us to Eric Daniels and Casey Graham. They need to be a 13, 48 or better to go to the number one spot of the average. Uh-oh, man. And it's not going to fit, and it's going to be no time now to the top 14. What's happening as we go down to Austin Robertson and York Gill? Austin Robertson, York Gill, 39-69. Austin Robertson on the front side. He's going for it. He's going. He's going to let it fall over. The nose, York Gill. Oh, you know the deal. Plus five. Going to be 12 and 63. Their total now. They are going to be here in the average 52-30. Big Bad Brody Self and Clay Logan is the team. They're going to be a 13, 17 or better to be number one in the average. Look at that. Lace it on now. Get you some to the back. Oh, man. 5, 52. And that's going to put them in the average a total of 44, 66. It's going to be the top 12 now. It's Lane Ivy and Cole Whiteman. It's 38 and 87. He's focused. Watch this. Yes. What? Ivy. Whiteman. Oh, my goodness. They stole the start, but they didn't leave with any goods. They're going to be no time. We're going to go to Kyle Beach, John Phillip, to rope right here. Kyle Beach and John Phillip need to catch this one in about 597. So, to answer your question, it's been hot. Here we go. Oh, my goodness, doesn't fit no time. Let's see what the top ten can do. Jimmy Stanzel and Trey Carter, 38-49. Oh, that right there. They come with five seconds. These guys come with baggage. They come with baggage. They're going to be cleaned by the barrier. They are 11-70. and 70. That could cost them lots of money here. Probably did fit. All right, let's go to Clint Johnson and Clay Logan. A team's 38-42 and a 623 is what they need to put on the clock to go to the number one spot. Quinn at 623 or better. Ah, oh, darn it. The barrier penalty is going to stop everything. It's going to be no time. It's Charles and Clint Quinn now. 37 and 38. We are just seconds away. They got a clean start. Charles Quinn. All right, Clint, time to make up some time. Oh, yes, 6 and 79. They will take the lead here. Now, in the average, they are 44-17. Luke Dement and Jed W. Cotton got to be a 7-18. Make it 7-16 to go to the lead of the Open. Oh, man, the horns are good. Now to the back. Yep, it's going to be plus 5. And they're going to be 12 and 55. Total on the average, 49.55. Here's Jesse Harville and Tyler Wade. 36.67. They are the sixth callback. It's the top six. Here's Jesse Harville. Tyler, Cash, Wade. This guy, aggressive, looks for a shot. Oh, yeah, get back, get a flag. Seven and 85. They shoot from the hip. Their total now, 44.52. They are second in the average. That's going to bring us to the top five, and here's Casey Mahoney and Speed Williams right here. 
They need to be a 762 or better to go number one in the average. And they take a good start at him. Now to the head side, Casey Mahoney. Steve Williams, look at there. Hey, hey, they're going to be clean. 787, they're second in the rope, and now at 44 41 to the top four. It's time for the money runs. Taylor Mitchell and Ruben Gonzalez, 36 48. 768 gets you out of Waco, Texas with a check. Taylor Mitchell. Oh, Chantilly Lace and Ruben Gonzalez. Oh, a sad face. Plus five. They're going to be 1308. 1308. Their total in the average now. What did that cost them? 49.56. Here's Timer and Brent Parker. They're going to be a 901 or better to lead this rope. Oh, lucky here. Ty Murphy gets him around the neck. Now to the backside, Brent Parker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 672. Everybody gets out of the way because they're first place right now at 4187. It's the top two. Second high callback, Cody Caulfield and Will Woodfin. 3478. 708 puts them number one, guarantees them no less than $4,892. Cody likes what he sees. Here we go. They get a clean start. Cody, yes. He taps a weld on it. Will Woodfin. Mr. Woodfin. They're going to be 709. 709. Get this. They are 4187. And Farron, this is the team to do it. I'm talking about Tyler Wojciechowski. I'm talking about Steele Montague. These guys got to be 875. 875 for $6,522. Wojciechowski and Montague, get it on, boys. Let's do it. Boys are good. Now, Steele Montague, take the money. Yeah. They're going to be 763, and that is going to put them now at 40 and 74. First place in the average now is going to go to Tyler Wojciechowski and Steel Montague. They are $6,522 richer. They're going to get Martin Trophy saddles. Aaron Lucero and I'm standing here with the 2010 number 15 shootout champions of the Lone Star Regional here in Waco, Texas. I've got Tyler Wojciechowski to my right and his partner Steel Montague to my left. Tyler, we'll start with you. First off, how long have you and Steel been roping together? Well, it's been about five or six years. I've been trying to get it one for a long time. Is this a guy that's been a big part of your team roping? Has he helped you out quite a bit? Yes, sir, it is. He's been a real help for me going down the road, going to rodeos, and also jackpot roping. He's been helping me learn to practice right. What kind of confidence do you have in your partner here? Did, did you know he was going to get him by two feet? Sure enough, all you had to do was show him the back end? I did. I knew if it went around the head somehow, I just had to close my eyes and I had to face. Well, Tyler, we get to see you a lot, man. Congratulations on your big win. Still, I want to go to you. What do you think about this kid right here? Oh, he's impressive for being 18, and he's been roping. I don't. They can't move down here from Florida. I think he was 13 when he showed up in Bandera, and he's very talented then, and put their head down and worked hard at it. Him and their whole family. Well, still, you know, you've been to the winter circle many times. How does it feel to go to the winter circle today and walk right away with one of these nice Trophy Martin saddles? I tell you, it feels great. I've, I've won a few of them, but never have won a U.S. saddle. And this has been about my 13th year in the U.S., and it's pretty nice. I can't, can't wait to get it home and show my wife. <laughs> well, just right. Well, she's going to be happy, too, guys. You guys are going to be splitting $6,522 trips to Oklahoma City. Guys, thanks for coming out on behalf of the USTRC.